Hello and welcome to the Green and White Breakdown this week. I'm Ashley Iconetti and I'm here with JetsInsider.com analyst Evan Slavitt. It was only a couple of weeks ago that the Jets faced the Patriots in Foxborough on Thursday night. They had a disappointing 13-10 loss, but the Jets defense looked great. They kept Tom Brady to 50% completion. And now we have this week. So only four weeks later, what should we expect now? Well, the Patriots' offense is going to be better than they were that last time. Obviously, Tom Brady's had time to build up a better rapport with his receivers than he did before. They're still expected to be without Rob Gronkowski. It's unlikely Danny Amendola will be in this game either. Still, the offense sh should be a better version than what they saw week two against the Pats. For the Jets, they have their own injuries at receivers. We know Santonio Holmes is unlikely to play in this game. Clyde Gates was put on the IR earlier this season. Now their top three receivers are Jeremy Curley, Stephen Hill, and the midseason acquisition of David Nelson. At tight end, we know Kellen Winslow is going to be suspended for the next couple games, so Jeff Cumberland's your main threat there. So they're going to have some problems of their own in the receiving end. How do you think they're going to overcome those problems at receiver? Well, you're going to hope that Stephen Hill can step up a bit. He's shown big play potential. He's averaging 16.7 yards per catch, but you'd like him to be more consistent, cat, you know, have more receptions during those games. Jeremy Curley and Jeff Cumberland have looked good. Maybe we even do get a nice contribution from David Nelson this week. But more than anything, you're going to have to look to that run game. Obviously, Mike Goodson is done for the year. He's now on the IR. They still have Bilal pal, Chris Ivory. Ivory looked very good the last time they played the Patriots. And more importantly, the Patriots are going to be without Vince Wilfork and Gerard Mayo. That's going to hurt their run defense. And if the Jets can kind of sustain and build up that running game, that should help. Maybe they'll be able to complete some passes over the top to Stephen Hill like they've had opportunities in the past. I'm going to guess you're not going to go with, your, with a receiver for your fantasy player of the week. Who are you going to go for? Well, like I said, the Jets are going to have to emphasize that running game, so I'm going to choose Bilal Powell. I know Chris Ivory is more the star in the last time these guys played off, but Bilal Powell has been that featured back. They're going to be focused on the running game in this one. I think Powell is able to pick up enough yards and maybe even a touchdown and make him a viable fantasy option this week. All right, so who are you calling this game for? What's the score? Oh, well, unfortunately, I am going to have to call for a season sweep. The Patriots are going to take this one. I just... I think the defense will play well again. I, you know, I, I, I don't think it was purely the Patriots' offense performing poorly, but the Patriots' offense is better. They've beaten teams like the Saints. You know, they, they've, they've overcome enough where I think they're going to be able to squeak out this game. Geno Smith, you know, with this uh, up and down performance, maybe he's, he's on the uptick this week, but he doesn't really have the weapons at wide receiver. I think the Patriots are going to be able to pull out a 23 to 14 victory. Thank you, Evan. If you're going to the game this weekend, Rex Ryan and the whole team wants you to know that it is a green out. You'll be getting these towels and you should be wearing green. And if you want, there'll be green beer and green food and a whole bunch of other green themed activities. I'm Ashley Iconetti for the JetsInsider.com. I'm here with Evan Slavitt and make sure to check out the website, JetsInsider.com for more pre and post game coverage and make sure to listen to Champs Radio Long Island before the game for the radio show on Sunday. Thanks for watching.